Hey everyone, my name's Silver and welcome back to my channel. Today guys, we're going over the episode 8 review of Carfet Vanguard, where the only thing that matters is your friendship. But guys, yes, seriously, I am going over Carfet Vanguard GZ episode 8, where our only season villain has blonde hair and is the leader of a dragon that can't show its face and a giant purple death monster that we know nothing about. Like I said, my name's Silver and this will be an interesting episode. So today guys, yes... We are talking about episode 8, which does, again, as always, these episode reviews that I've started doing do contain spoilers. If you do not want spoilers before you see the episode, do watch the episode. I will try to remember to link it in the description below as the first line. Go watch it, then come back and watch my analysis and future theory videos on this episode. So today, guys, this episode revolves around Tokoha and the new Asha unit. So in this episode... Dunjin, uh, the perfect guard for Kagero currently, tries to assassinate our lovely friend Chrono here, which it's sad that he didn't succeed. Rip. If only we had the time to just do that beforehand. But in all seriousness, um, yes, it's all about friendship. Um, and it's a pretty interesting fight. So we see the new Asha unit. We get a cut. We get a handful of units. So like I said, it starts off with Dunjin wanting to assassinate Chrono. He goes off, gets to Chrono's apartment, Togaha, and I always forget her name. This awesome little adorable character, which I need um, to remember her name at some point. See him, stop him. She calls him. And Shion is there, so yeah, that happens, and then they call, I guess they call Ibuki, which never shows up. Um, let's see, uh, her brother here shows up in the episode at the end. But it's all like a whole bunch of funness and about friendship and bonds. So they go, Dunjin and Toha go back and forth about how Dunjin says friendships and bonds like that make you weak, whereas... Tokoha thinks her weakness is her greatest strength because it allows her to grip her future better. So on and so forth. Overall, the episode was pretty nice. I enjoyed the fight. We got to see a couple new units, including this new Grade Zero, which I, I'm i almost 100% positive is a new Grade Zero. I googled the name, and all I got was the original Trial Deck starter. So unless this is some sort of like English to or Japanese to English mistranslation by YouTube or whatever, which I don't think... Then, this is a new starter we'll be seeing later on. Honestly, I'm super excited to see what it does. We also got to see a new... We also got to see the new Asha unit, which I'll be covering in a video. We didn't... We only saw her on stride skill, which is to call a unit. A counterblasting call with a bloom ability. And we saw this guy. So, this is the new G-Guard that I've yet to find anything about as well. So, people... I, I made a statement last week that... Miguel not only gave Osh, not only gave Tokoha the new Asha unit, but a new G unit. It could have very well been the stride, but this is a must hear unit. And there was a flashback sequence um, once she was done guarding with this that made her cry a little bit about Miguel because it went through all the memories. So somehow this unit is linked to Miguel. I'm not sure if this is Miguel's, you know, reincarnated form or whatever, whatever they're going to do. But it was pretty interesting. Overall, I like the art style they went with the Asha in this unit. Um, again, pretty good fight. And we also have our new Flower Princess of Four Seasons. Ven of something or another. I can't read things because no one in English is good at speaking Japanese. Honestly, I love the art like this. I'm literally going to buy a playmat of this. I'm going to have someone draw it up for me with a few other things and playmat. Just instant play mat. I might even just get the play mat like that. But overall, it skills pretty good from what we saw. Again, I can't find anything on this between the wiki and stuff. So I'm expecting to be some more info drop tomorrow. Which I may or may not go over depending on how I'm feeling. I wasn't feeling well earlier. So me and Black Moon skipped our streaming today. To um, move forward and stream tomorrow evening. Hopefully we'll see how I'm feeling then as well. So I rested up and I'm back to present this. 
So, with that being said, overall the new stuff is pretty good. Um, from what I understand, between Blue Asha and this unit, you can call up to a total of three units for deck with the Bloom ability, because when this attacks, I guess, you get to call. Um, I don't have any more screenshots of the um, episodes, because I sort of um, only took a handful. But yeah, so how did the fight go with Dungeon? Well, he utterly got wrecked. He got riggedy, riggedy wrecked. That was a Rick and Morty reference, and I feel ashamed for even trying to be cool. Alright, so what happened? So, Asha guarded with this wonderful G unit that I'm assuming to be somehow related to Miguel, either brother or cousin or reincarnation of Miguel. And he's just powerful. He gets 5k as a base skill, and then if you have one or less rear guards, he gets another 15k. So he goes from being literally a 20 shield to a 35 shield. Just... Neo Nectar, everyone, because we needed more reasons to be broken. But what does this mean? So, we only saw one of Asha's new skills as well. And what does that mean? Well, that means the new Asha isn't a direct counter for Xeroth Dragons. Sure, she has a nice on stride skill. We know nothing about her GB2 skill or what else she could have. She also got hit with the Xeroth Dragon which is what this guarded against, and she got to ride her grade 3 again, so lucky her. Still somehow managed to have enough to guard. But yeah, so, um, interesting card. I'm not entirely sure of what it does entirely, of either or, besides what the anime showed. And I honestly really enjoyed this week's episode, so I do recommend it if you haven't seen it, which I'm really sorry if you stuck through until after the spoilers were revealed. But, overall, what do I think was going to happen next? Well, I... Th oh, yeah. One other thing I didn't get a screenshot of, because um, I'm not feeling well, so sorry, is that the entire G-Zone burst into flames at the end of the fight. Like, Dujin literally was the coolest kid about how his G-Zone was banished. Like, if I had a Xeroth Dragon, in real life, I'd do it. He literally ended his turn, put his G-Unit back into his G-Zone, and then said, I removed my G-Zone from the game and just throws it on the ground outside just no turkeys were given whatsoever just throws it and calls it a day so overall not a bad episode there and it was pretty funny and then yeah after he lost his g-zone just burst it into flames it was just <laughs> here's fire and yeah so the xeroth dragon stayed around uh tokoha gave it to ibuki and our wonderful friend up here at the beginning that I made the blonde hair joke about um, told Ibuki he could keep it until the time was right. And then it did the little purple case thingy that happened in last week's episode that I don't have a screenshot of either because I didn't go for that. So yeah, a lot of info on theories. So unfortunately, I still am a firm believer that this is not the unit that Miguel, that the stride unit was. That Miguel gave Togo. I still think Asha's getting a new stride. I also don't think this is it. Or this wonderful, wonderful dragon bird griffin thing that I don't know what it is. But it's beautiful and I want one. So, I still think Miguel gave her all three of these units. But gave her one new Asha stride that she's going to wait to pull out until like later in the season. Um, Overall concept art for Asha in Togoha hybrid. I love it. I absolutely love it. Like, I should have, um, there we are. Like, this is the Asha art we have for the card. And I honestly like this one better just because of the white hair. But, yeah. Um, just in case you guys want to know it's full skill, it is Kenner Blast 1. When you're G-Unit Strides, you may pay the cost if you do search your deck for one normal unit with the Bloom ability called to Red Shuffle deck. That's all we know. So, yeah. Like I said, welcome to Card Fight Vanguard G. I've been the Silver Wolf. And I'm signing off for now. Hopefully next week we'll see our blonde hair villain and our shy United Sanctuary Xeroth dragon that's meant to end the world. Do something. But guys, until next time, peace.